Hey Internet, hey YouTube, this is Nate. You can also call me Nathan, but please never call me Nathaniel. Um, this is going to be a little bit of a different kind of video. It's not, it's a guide, but it's not really a guide. It's more of a, a way for me to get some catharsis. Um, I participated in the tournament uh, quarterfinals last night, and I didn't really perform as well as I wanted to. And uh, I wanted to go back through and analyze the moments um, in the runs where I made... A certain decision that ended up leading to the ultimate loss in the two runs that I failed. And I want to use it as kind of like a, a way to assess um, why is it that sometimes things don't work? What are the decisions that we make which lead to uh, ultimately losses in our runs? And uh, again, taking these two examples from my quarterfinals performances, um, I think both, both builds had the potential to succeed. So if we look at here, uh, this is the first one where we lost on ring five. Um, this build had the potential to succeed. I think this is actually one that could have uh, been a top score, certainly could have beaten the last divinity. Um, but I ended up taking a uh, particular artifact about partway through around after the Talos fight, um, taking this judgmental fittings, which ended up causing me to lose in the end. Um, so I'm going to analyze this run. I'm actually going to replay from that moment. So we'll play everything up up until that moment where we decided to take the extra artifact. Um, I will not take the artifact. And then I'm going to play out the rest of the run and just see, is the run able to succeed? Was it really just this one decision? Or was the build ultimately doomed to fail? That will be the first one we do. And then the second one, even more simple, came down to a trial take on ring four. I think without taking the trial, we had a really good chance of having the build go all the way. Um, but taking a spike trial on ring four with a bunch of sweep units ended up costing us. Um, so again, what I'm gonna do is go through um, the run. I'll do this off, um, off camera. Uh, I'll play through the entire run up until those moments exactly the same, making the same card decisions, making the same strategic decisions, and then playing them out tactically. So there'll be no difference. We'll have the same pyre health, same units, same everything. And all we're going to change are those two moments and play out the rest of the runs and uh, see if the builds were solid enough. So if the decision making behind was the right decision making, the right build, um, and whether this one decision point made the difference between success or failure. So be back in a minute with uh, the first build um, and we will play out and run and see how it goes. Okay, so we just finished the Talos fight. This is where we had the decision of which artifacts we wanted to take in that first run. Everything is the same again. We still have 46 Pyre Health, just like we did in the tournament. We took the... Uh, uh, the uh, Marsh Lord Echo Rite. We took the Bog Chrysalis merged with the Awoken Hollow. Uh, we took the Calcified Embers. Um, Everything else is exactly the same, so nothing's different. This is where we're gonna diverge. And all we're gonna change is we're gonna take Corrupted Cloud, which was perfectly fine, and we're not going to take Judgmental Fittings, and we're gonna proceed from here. And we'll just play out the rest of the run like normal, um, and just see if that one diverging play, in fact, let me just double check to make sure that I uh, play the next um, ring the same. Uh, let me just quickly run through what I did. We took that, we went right path. We did not take the unit. We did multi-strike and quick, I believe. I think we, yeah, yeah, yeah. Multi-strike and quick. So again, even up till this point, we're taking everything the same. And we took an artifact and we took, I think we took base charge. Yeah, we took base charge, okay. Take Marsh Lord 2, and now we're at the point where, or let me turn on some music. Sorry about that. If we're gonna be playing the runs. We gotta we gotta get into the mode with music here. Um, just a second. There we go. Okay. So now this next battle should also go much smoother because we can take the trial and with the spikes and not have to worry about them having damage shield as well, which ended up being a big problem. We took some damage here we didn't need to take, but it's really the next fight, obviously, that like becomes the critical one. 
Um, so we start off with Bog Chrysalis. Echo, right? We're going to stack regen first, I think. Uh, no, we still want to stack it onto you. And then we kill the haste. And now it's much easier to kill the haste as well because we don't they don't have damage shield, which is pretty good. Um, kill you again. I think we still play this one. I think now I'm gonna play it onto Echo Right because uh, he's gonna heal anyway. Okay. And then we play Bounding Echoes. Bringing them online. Uh, and now we just want to get shards in there to get, get enough damage to kill this Clip Defender and the Backliner. So we play this. Bring back a... Um, Wildwood Sap. We can play a Wildwood Sap on the front one first. And just play you out to die. Okay. This is, a, uh, this is going to be a particularly difficult floor here. Uh, but I think with Shelter, we should be okay. So we're going to go uh, Broken Memories into Wildwood Sap, into Broken Memories, into Broken Memories. We'll play Wildwood Sap on you. And then we'll get a huge Shelter and hope... Okay, so we're going to take a little bit of fire damage, but not nearly as much as we did before. Uh, not as nearly as much as we did before. That was good. Okay. Then we can play Wildwood Sap again on you. Broken me- or, uh, Bounty Echoes. Broken Memories into Wildwood Sap. And I think here I actually don't mind uh, doubling up. Then uh, that makes everything free. We can bring back the other Broken Memories and we can play this Echo Brick. Saving us a little bit of damage. Okay. Awesome. Again, uh, more more Wildwood Sap. I think, in fact, this guy was a lone dude last time. We didn't have everybody here. So, huge difference. Uh, bring back Wildwood Sap and another Broken Memories. And still looking really good. We can still just keep adding more Wildwood Sap. Broken Memories, Wildwood Sap, Broken Memories, Broken Memories, and another Root Seeds. And we're killing it. So we did take still some fire damage, but much less than before. Much, much, much less than before. We take the Pyre Stone Housing. Uh, we did not take any of these. And we took the Pyre Grow. Okay, so here, here was the big moment. We got the Calcified Embers. We went, um, I believe, the left path to upgrade spells and get the the trinket. We axed. Yeah, we got Hardened Hole, which was really good for our defense. Um, we got the holdover on the Symphony of the Soul, and then I think. Let me just double check. What else? I think we did minus one on Symphony of the Soul. But let me just get through this fight really quick. Just want to just want to show that like it's one decision that can make a huge difference. Uh, yeah, this is this is the ring five. So let me just go back. We also put plus thirty and uh, a piercing on another one as well. Let me just check here. Yeah, we minus one on the symphony of the soul. We did, I think we did a minus one on the root seeds and then a minus one on the Symphony of the Soul. Should have considered maybe doing it on the Wildwood Sap though, because it came it comes back so often. But let's see. Ah, and you know what's funny? is because we uh, played that differently, we actually were able to kill the Collector, giving us enough money to do another minus cost. So we'll use that on this Wildwood Sap, which is again another difference, but it's showing that like that one difference actually has a compounding effect. Because we were able to then kill the Collector, um, we were able to get more coins going into this ring.
that we would not have had. That's one more free spell. This is where we died. And from here on out, it's uh, all brand new. We take the uh, trial again, just like before. But this time, we have the added benefit of uh, just doing way more damage. So we play um, Bond Chrysalis, Echo Right. Uh, play this to break the egg. Play you here. Kill one of you. Well, let's play this first. Bring back the Wildwood Sap. Play this. Bring back the Broken Memories. And just kill off the backliner. So before, we weren't actually killing anything. We were just uh, removing damage shields. So we play Pounding Echoes. Give you Wildwood Sap. Give you Wildwood Sap even more. Broken Memories into the free Wildwood Sap. Into Broken Memories into Broken Memories. Give you more damage, I think. Let's see. One, two, three, four. And then we need a lot of hits on him. I think I'm going to start buffing up this uh, Poopa here. So then we go Wildwood Sap again on you this time. Wildwood Sap on you. We can go Broken Memories into Free Wildwood Sap, into Broken Memories, into Broken Memories. Uh, and then we get a huge shelter. Excellent. Okay. And full clear. Like, even before we do anything else, full clear. Way different than what we had going on last time. Um, Bounty Echoes. We can get another Wildwood Sap on you. Broken Memories into Wildwood Sap. Into Broken Memories, into Broken Memories. Um, we can save potentially some damage here as well. If we can pick off you. Let's see. One, two. So if we kill one of them. If we kill two of them, we actually kill the backliner instantly. Without taking any damage. Look at that. So different, guys. So different. And it was something we didn't need. The piercing spells, while good, is not really, like, critical to our build. So again, we just stack up. Play you as well. Uh, we would like you to have enough damage to get over this guy. I think we can. I think we have enough. So then we get um, Wildwood Sap back. Broken Memories into Broken Memories. That gives us enough shard with the Root Seeds. Now we present, prevent a little bit more damage. And then if we pop the backliner, we prevent all the damage. Look at that. Okay, continue stacking uh, regen. I'm going to go all in on this one guy just to absolutely make sure there's no chance we're not going to have enough. We're going to get the uh, Wobble Staff again. Um, I believe we can with a Root Seeds... And the Broken Memories, I think that puts us into the range for... Where's my uh, regen? Weird. Um, so it's in the range where we can just kill one of these guys outright. Now we take no damage. Although if we do this, I think it's still worth it. But we will take a little bit more damage on the Kin Host. And yeah, there you go. I mean, one one difference, and you can see we're already in such a better shape than we were before. Um, root seeds, root seeds. Off the guy. Oh, I didn't bring back the broken memories. It's fine. Ninety-eight regen. Not positive. Think that's gonna win though. Uh, also, did we say ninety-eight? I meant one hundred and ninety-four. <laughs> Obviously, that's not gonna work against uh, Seraph. The chase so well. But, uh, still. Pretty good. Pretty good. And he continues to, uh, increase his own damage over time because of the, uh, Cultivate, which is kind of hilarious. Uh, okay, so now this is all new. Um... Part of me is, like, a second Broken Memories might not be terrible. But at the same time, I guess what we could do is we could use it as a one-off to grab a Symphony of the Soul. But I actually would even consider 
Uh, we want something that high is high cost. I maybe shouldn't have reduced the cost of this uh, Symphony of the Soul. Um, I'm gonna probably dupe the broken memories we have already. So focus growth. Focus growth is really good because it'll make all the other spells free. If we can get hold over on that as well, that would be a way to just constantly have uh, free spells. Okay, so now I can remove this and get Vial of Tears, which is massive for this build. It's really, really good. It, it helps prevent against um, Divinity, the, the AoE damage, but in addition, it also uh, triggers the Cultivate triggers on both of the uh, Bog Flies that come out of the Bog Chrysalis. We don't need any unit upgrades. We're gonna go left path. Let's remove to train stewards. And in addition, let's dupe our broken memories. Where are you? Broken memories. Yeah, that's gonna be massive for our build. Purge a card, gain a card, sure. Remove a train steward, and what do we get? Uh, let's take a rare Awoken card, I think. Well, let's... Mm, yeah, let's do an Awoken card. Okay. Awoken's Rail Spike is fine. We'll take that. That's another way to get a... Uh, dump all of our Ember into something, get value out of it. Um, I think I can take the Divine Boons. And we have Armor Fell, but we should be doing plenty of damage. I mean, we're doing up to easily 66 plus Multi-Strike. Like, we should be just fine. So we can go... Uh, let's play the guys and then play Bounding Echoes. So Bounding Echoes, Excavated Ember, uh, Wildwood Sap. By the way, the Wildwood Sap regen and the heal are two separate triggers, which is also what's really solid about this setup. Play you, bring the Wildwood Sap back. Play you, bring the Broken Memories back. There we go. So, play this on you. And we play Wildwood Sap, Broken Memories onto the free Wildwood Sap, into Broken Memories, into Broken Memories. We can play this as well and hit you again. Wow. That was a surprising amount of damage. Uh, okay, Bounding Echoes is great. Then we can play the Wildwood Sap again. Broken Memories, Wildwood Sap. Broken Memories, Broken Memories into just hitting you again. Okay. All right, here we go, Symphony of the Soul time. So what we do is uh, we wanna play all of our zero cost stuff out first and then we're gonna play Awoken's Rail Spike to make everything else free. So we play you. Broken Memories into Wildwood Sap. Then we can play the Awoken's Rail Spike. Making a bunch of stuff free as well. Um, play this again. Broken Memories into Broken Memories. We can hit you some more. Uh, double Root Seeds. And then we can Symphony of the Soul. Four. A lot of regen. Okay. So, uh, we go. Excavated Ember. Excavated Ember. Oh my gosh, everything's going to be free. Um, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to play this Broken Memories into Abounding Echoes. So that we can make it also generate Echoes for us. Uh, this one into... Uh, probably the other Broken Memories... And then play this into the Wildwood Sap. This into the other Broken Memories. Then we do a big heal on you. Then we do even more regen. Root Seeds, Root Seeds, Echo Break on you. And Symphony of the Soul again, just to get insane amounts of regen. Okay, Fell's gonna come back up. And the question is, can we get an insane amount of reap here? So we're gonna start with Bounty Echoes. Then we're gonna play... 
Oh my gosh, the armor is going to be in, in, actually insane. Play this into Awoken's Rail Spike. Play this. Play this into Broken Memories. Play this Broken Memories into the other Broken Memories. Play this Broken Memories into the free Wildwood Sap. Then we go Root Seeds. Um, and I don't think we're going to play Symphony of the Soul here. Uh, I'm trying to think if we can actually get this guy down. I think we do the Echo Break on you. Because I don't believe we're going to get quite enough damage, unfortunately. But that does a little bit more damage. And then we Shelter. Huge Shelter. And uh, yeah, I mean, we're not going to get a flying kill, but we are going to get a very, very clean kill here with no leaks, which is basically is good. Um, okay, Wildwood Sap. And by the way, our regen's getting insane again. Um, into Wildwood Sap, Broken Memories into Broken Memories. Play this Train Steward. I mean, honestly, you can still just kill him, it's fine. And then huge Wilkins Rail Spike to make everything free. Focus Growth, Wild with Sap, Smack a Fool, and then Root Seeds again, and oh my gosh, Broken Memories into Rail Spike, into Broken Memories, into Broken Memories, into Broken Memories, into Wild with Sap, Broken Memories, into Broken Memories. And look at those charged echoes, guys. <laughs> if we have any, if we can get any card that synergizes with broken echoes, or no, charged echoes, if we can get any um, card that synergizes with charged echoes, we're just gonna get absolutely insane here. One, two, Wildwood Sap, Broken Memories into Wildwood Sap, into Broken Memories, into Broken Memories, into. Broken Memories into what? What do we want to bring back? Uh, maybe another Shelter. Uh, into a, an Awoken's Rail Spike. Making everything free. Wildwood Sap. Root Seeds. Uh, double Smack. Fell. Into... Broken Memories, into Wildwood Sap, into Broken Memories, into Broken Memories, into Broken Memories, into Awoken's Rail Spike. Oh no! We have to do Broken Memories again. Ah no, we'll do the Rail Spike still. Shelter. <laughs> and honestly at this point, we're, we're just gonna kill it. I'm gonna save time. And just finish the fight here. Also, we could do this if we wanted. And still get all of our echoes back. Killing it. So, uh, very clean ever since that, uh, that, that pivot. Um, Cycle of Life would also become free. Perfect Insanity is also very interesting. It would be a way to dump all of our um, charged echoes. And we'll go with another draw here. We don't need Ember, we don't need Capacity, just get extra draw. And uh, yeah, we just keep going. Um, right path, we can remove the other two train stewards. Or the other one train steward. And probably... Trying to think what do we want to get rid of here. I kind of think it's the uh, Echo Breaks, the unupgraded Echo Breaks. Because the Root Seeds actually give us draw, which is pretty good. Double stack. What do we want to double stack? Um, we could double stack the Wildwood Sap. Or we could double stack and minus one the Shelter. And then bring back the Shelter every time. Maybe we do that. We bring back uh, Shelter instead. 
Because the regen is only there to get cultivate triggers. We don't actually need it for sustain. Um, Reroll. There's another holdover. Um, let's make perfect insanity free. Uh, do we need, oh, no. Uh, Woken's Rail Spike minus one. And then hold over on... Perfect Insanity. That could be flying kills, guys. Like, we get so many charged Echoes. I think we can reliably play that almost every time. Intrinsic on... Um, intrinsic on... Hmm... I kind of feel like it needs to be one of the broken memories, but maybe it's a Woken's Rail Spike. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, because then we can just play it, get it out, um, draw a bunch of cards the first turn that are all going to be free. That seems really, really solid. Okay, so then we go to the Dark Forge, we go all in on a Martial Lord, and we finish out the run. Uh, this is fine. Yeah, absolutely. We're gonna have an, we're gonna have a killer first turn. We have two quick units. Uh, we're guaranteed to break the egg right at the beginning. Not to mention the fact we're probably going to break this egg as well. Uh, okay, so then we do... Huge Awoken's Rail Spike. Or, huge. We're going to have a decent Awoken's Rail Spike here. Okay. Then we can go uh, Wildwood Sap. Then we can do... Shelter. Yeah, Shelter. Oh, no, no. Root Seeds, Root Seeds, Root Seeds. Actually, we want to break the egg first, and then we want to play Shelter. So we're going to go uh, triple Root Seeds here. Should have also played the Root Seeds first, because then it would have been applied to both uh, optimizations, but it's fine. Uh, bring back Woken's Rail Spike. Shelter. Bring back Shelter. Bring back Broken Memories. Bring back Broken Memories. And every time we play a Consume card, our Bog Wormling gets thicker and thicker and thicker. Okay, so. Uh, start with... Do we have... We don't have one. I was thinking we might have a... Uh, oh, there we go. Bounty Echoes. Bounty Echoes. Very solid. Um, play all of our zero cost stuff out first. Shelter. Broken Memories into... Shelter into broken memories, into broken memories, into broken memories, into broken memories. Um, and then we're going to have broken memories again, so we can play this and bring back, um, yeah, Wildwood Sap, I guess. Then we play this again, making everything come back and also be free. Give you Wildwood Sap. There's perfect insanity. And again, plenty of charged echoes. We're not in any danger here. <laughs> but this as well. Echo break. Echo break. Uh, broken memories into Wilkins Rail Spike. Into broken memories. Into broken memories. Into broken memories. Into. Uh, oh, I didn't play Shelter yet. Whoops. That's fine. We bring back Abounding Echoes. Into broken memories. Into broken memories. Then we play Shelter. Then we double everything. <laughs> insanity, right? Like, just insanity with this build. Um, root Seeds. Perfect Insanity just clears this guy out immediately. Broken Memories into... Shelter? Into broken memories, into broken memories, into broken memories, into maybe an excavated ember. Into broken memories, into broken memories, and double again. Okay. Big turn time. Uh, root seeds. Excavated ember. Um. <laughs> Shelter now? Shelter. Broken memories into shelter. 
into broken memories, into broken memories, broken memories into excavated ember, into broken memories, into broken memories. We can yeet this guy. We can then play Awoken's Rail Spike to draw out our whole hand again. Also, we can go infinite. There's an infinite here. Wait a minute. There's an infinite here, guys. No, there's not, because we don't have two. If we get a second Awoken's Rail Spike, we have an infinite. But even here, like, it's still very solid. Bounding Echoes. Root Seeds, Root Seeds. Shelter. Broken Memories into Shelter. Into Broken Memories, into Broken Memories, into Symphony of the Soul. 920 armor. Let's just finish out. Let's just finish it out. Let's get a bunch of charged echoes, and then we'll just quickly burn through it. Oh, we have a bunch. Yeah, we're good. This doesn't matter. We're, we're gonna win. Play for speed now. Get up there. And get up there. Boom. Oh my gosh, another broken memories. No. Not even Soul Crushing Guilt. We don't need it. Uh, not Preserve Thorns either, I don't think. No. We focus in. We, try, we get a dupe. We go dupe no matter what. We dupe Rail Spike. And it's over. Double Rail Spike means that we can go infinite. So then, uh, Divine Horde. Lost Luggage. Oh my gosh. Uh, no. Sure. Um, sure. And then we just remove cards we don't need. The two Echo Breaks. Alright, here we go. I think we can get double flying kills here. We don't have the most amount of shards, but... Okay. We start with the broken memories. So here we go. This is what we do. We go... Uh, play on the bottom floor. Bog Chrysalis. Echo, right? Bounding Echoes. And we want to play Awoken's Rail Spike. Then we play Broken Memories to get the other Awoken's Rail Spike into Excavated Ember. Just realizing now. We play this one again. Oh no, we gotta we gotta remove zero cost cards. So you out, you out, you out. Then we play one of these again to make everything free. Okay. Bounding echoes. Broken memories into broken memories. Focus growth. Root seeds. Uh, this will. I think this will draw broken memories. Okay. Then we can play this into one of the rail spikes. Into broken memories, into broken memories. Pretty killer first turn. He didn't create anything, so that's good. So then, here we go. This is the infinite time. Infinite time. So we play Pyre Grow. Play Root Seeds. Broken Memories into Rail Spike, into Broken Memories into Broken Memories. Then, let me think, we also need to bring back the Excavated Ember 
into broken memories into broken memories. Now we're gonna draw three. Draw this again. Gets us into rail spike. Okay. Play this. Play this. Root seeds. Would be sick. Uh, we could try. Actually, we can. We can root seeds him. Because we don't need any more damage here. Uh, I mean, it would increase his damage, but I think we're good here. So we're going to go broken memories into rail spike. Into broken memories. Into broken memories. Broken memories into excavated ember. Into broken memories into broken memories. Perfect insanity. Then we awoken Rail Spike. We play Excavated Ember. And every single time we play any of these, by the way, this guy is getting bigger. Uh, but yeah, we can do this forever. So we can do this forever. We're gonna we're gonna stop after this point because we want to do the infinite when he's actually on the floor. Um, so we're gonna bring back Awoken's Rail Spike. Oh wait, we just did the same thing again. I guess we'll go through one more uh, one more cycle here. Uh, into what? Broken memories. Broken memories into broken memories. Okay. Last cycle. So now we're gonna bring back just a shelter into broken memories into broken memories. Broken Memories into Excavated Ember, into Broken Memories, into Broken Memories, into Rail Spike, into Excavated Ember, Broken Memories, into Rail Spike, into Broken Memories, into Broken Memories, Broken Memories, into Excavated Ember, into Broken Memories, into Broken Memories, into into shelter. Yeah. Pretty insane. He's coming back down. And now it's time. This is when we're gonna kill Seraph. So, um, first things first. You go. All your zero costs out. We'll keep we can keep an excavated ember. That seems okay. Broken memories into rail spike into broken memories, into broken memories, broken memories into excavated ember, into broken memories, into broken memories, into perfect insanity, um, into awoken's rail spike. Draw eight, let's play this as well. Rail spike. Then we go Excavated Ember, Excavated Ember, Focus Growth, Root Seeds. Um, then we go Broken Memories into a Awoken Rail Spike, into a Broken Memories into Broken Memories, Broken Memories into Excavated Ember, into Broken Memories into Broken Memories, into Perfect Insanity into a huge rail spike. Excavated ember. Root seeds, root seeds. Then, broken memories into rail spike. Broken memories, broken memories. Broken memories, excavated ember. Broken memories, broken memories. And we're just slowly building up damage, slowly building up um, charged echoes. And we just repeat. So, broken memories into rail spike. Broken memories, broken memories. Broken memories, excavated ember. Broken memories, broken memories. Into rail spike. Excavated Ember, Broken Memories into Rail Spike, Broken Memories, Broken Memories, Broken Memories into Excavated Ember, Broken Memories, Broken Memories, 
Rail Spike. Excavated Ember. And <laughs> again. Uh, we can probably hit this guy as well. 674. Just trying to get to the point where they're killing these guys in one hit. Um, you know, we probably don't even need to do this. Let's just, uh, let's finish this turn off. We'll do the chain. Well, let's get a Bounding Echoes back instead. This will make it a little bit faster scaling because the everything, then everything will have... Um, everything will have uh, the uh, infusion. So, Rail Spike, Memories, Memories, Rectal Memories into Excavated Ember, into Broken Memories, Broken Memories. Okay. All right, so we're gonna play everything on the middle floor because we want to um, use Perfect Insanity on him. So we start with, uh, or I guess we start with our free stuff. So free. Uh, free. Free. Um, broken Memories into Rail Spike. Broken memories, broken memories, broken memories into Ember. Broken memories, broken memories into Perfect Insanity. Into Massive Rail Spike. Okay. And we do not have Perfect Insanity again. So we will just uh, do this last. Oh, Symphony. Okay, yeah. Sir Symphony. Um. But yeah, I mean, this is this is the other thing I was just mentioning. It's just like there was a flying kill potential here if I had played it correctly. Uh, let's get rail spike. No, we don't want rail spike. We want probably just double excavated embers, to be honest. Maybe the bounding echoes. Hmm. No, I think we just get a second Ember. Broken Memories. And then huge Rail Spike. Or mediocre Rail Spike. Double Excavated Embers. Focus Growth. And... Prep for next. Here we go. Here we go. One perfect insanity. We'll do it. And root seeds and kill. So there's a flying kill onto Seraph. And coming up, we have a flying kill potential onto Divinity as well. So sorry, the infinite's taking a long time. Um, but basically. Just wanted to show, it was really just came down to that one decision. And if we had made that one decision differently, like, this would have been a whole different game here. Uh, wow. So we're gonna play... Crazy. We can actually already start with this. So we can go... Rail Spike. Into... Play all of our one costs out. Bounding Echoes is great. Play you as well. Go this, this, this. Um, then we go Broken Memories into Rail Spike. Into Broken Memories, Broken Memories. Then we get a draw four. Pyre Grow. Root Seeds. Uh, Play this out first. Okay. Broken memories into rail spike. Broken memories into broken memories. And perfect insanity. Okay. Sick. 
Um, play our zero costs. Broken memories into rail spike. Broken memories, broken memories. We get to draw five. Which now includes the second broken memories, which is pretty good. Um, root, Wildwood Sap, Smack, Perfect Insanity. Play this for one. Okay, well, we can't play that, unfortunately, but it's fine. Uh, play this into Rail Spike, into Broken Memories, Broken Memories. Broken Memories into... I'm going to do a... Bounding Echoes, I think, to start. So that everything is getting infused into Broken Memories, into Broken Memories. Okay, there we go. And... Alright, so you start with the Bounding Echoes. Then you play another Bounding Echoes. Just for fun. Um, root Seeds. Echo Break. Then... Here we go... Broken Memories into Rail Spike. Into Broken Memories, Broken Memories. Broken Memories into... Excavated Ember. Broken Memories, Broken Memories. And then we do the big one here. We can play Perfect Insanity for a solid amount of damage here. And then we go... Ember, Ember, Root. Um... Oh, Broken Memories, into Rail Spike, into Broken Memories, Broken Memories, Broken Memories, into Excavated Ember, into Broken Memories, Broken Memories. Big Rail Spike. Obviously, I don't think we would have the time to do all of this, because, I mean, already we're getting kind of low on time, but... Let's just continue playing out the rest of this little bit of the battle, and then uh, we'll switch over to the second one in just a second. I think this will be our last uh, combo here. Let's just play... Honestly, let's just play this out now. You need to stack up damage. Oh my gosh, the shelter's gonna be so big. Um, and then we just get both broken memories back. But I mean, we're already at the point, like 90... <laughs> 96 armor. And yeah. Like none of this matters. We even perfect insanity somebody else if we wanted to, but I think it's fine. We just play hit you. Perfect insanity. Uh I'll play this first. I'm not gonna care about trying to get um the full combo here. Uh, excellent. Perfect Insanity. Play this, into this, into this, into this, this, into this, this, into this, and hit. Okay. We should be able to get the flying kill here. We just need to do Perfect Insanity twice, and then we're, we're good. So, start with uh, all the zero costs. And we can try to pick off people, that would be great. Uh, Bounding Echoes. Root Seeds again. We'll do at least a, a couple of combos here, just so we can get enough uh, charged Echoes, I think. Then we can play Perfect Insanity. No. Yeah, Perfect Insanity into Awoken's Rail Spike. And it should be easy enough to get to that amount of damage. 
just realized I don't think we played that exactly right. Because now we don't have any uh, broken members left. Hey, perfect insanity. There we go. And win. Okay, so that was that was that run. Um, and if I look at the score now, let me just tally up the score. Um. I believe that. Uh, let me look at the. Uh, let me look at the dis or the Discord here. I mean, that was that was a lot of points potentially. Um, let me see how many points it would have been. It would have been just a second. So it would have been... We didn't have any restarts. So it would have been nine, nine rings. Would have been one, two, three, four, five, six. Flawless. Would have been 130 pack shards. And would have been two flying kills. 133, which would have qualified me. So if I had just literally not taken that one artifact, we would have qualified for the semifinals. What do you do, right? But let's go to the second one. So we'll take a short break, um, and then I'll come back and show the second one. Again, just not taking the trial, and to see if we can finish out the run. This one will be a lot faster because we don't have a chance for an infinite. But um, anyway, so will be right back in a minute, and uh, we'll take a look at uh, the second one to see how I would have done there. All right, so we are back to exactly where we were again on the second uh, seed that we lost. Um, and the only difference we're gonna take here is we're not gonna take the trial. So we're gonna skip the spike trial and then we're gonna see if we can play out the rest of the run. Um, this one I'm a little bit less confident about than the egg run, but I still think there's a lot of opportunity here to do rather well. So like, for example, we just play, um, I'm almost thinking, like, what if we play these two down here? He can absorb some of the heads, get some kills. We play Wildington up here, and then we have to slowly ascend them both up. Something like this. And then he'll make sure they never get any higher. Uh, we can give more armor to you. And we don't necessarily want... Um, we don't necessarily want uh, to kill that guy. We want to kill him with the sweep. Okay. Uh, we can grow your damage again. And root, root. I mean, already you can see how much of a difference it's making. Um, if we move you up and then block with the train steward, we should still also be fine. Also, we can just move both of you up. I don't know why I just didn't do that in the first place. Uh, give you more, because we. Uh, one thing we do know is the boss is going to have some spikes. Um, but yeah, I mean, look at this. This is already, this is already going way better than before. And he's gonna have like a little bit of spikes. We can bring him up now. We're doing 110 by two damage. We can block one, two. Three, plus we get the uh, extra damage on the first hit. So this is 330 damage. Yeah, we're good. And again, one change. Boom. Clean ring four. And from here on out, it's brand new. Let's see what we're going to go. Unleash the Wildwood. Uh, would be a potential way to make sure we never die as long as we get extra health onto the Shattered Shell. It doesn't help with Rail Beater though. Unless we put extra health into Rail Beater as well. Uh, but it's it's pretty good. Like it's it's a pretty decent way of dealing with it. Um, Tiresome Climb is also another way to do that. Also in Flame. Um, uh, in Flame gives us Rage and our Rage is increased. Oh, what do we want? Our rage does not decay. I'm gonna take Inflame. 
Okay, so then I'm gonna go right path. Um, I think we can do a refracting lens. We want to. Let me think. I think we want to dupe our shattered shell. And we want to put intrinsic onto the hidden passage. Probably make it minus one as well. Um, I don't think we would necessarily want to do a spell chain on it though. But now we can guarantee that uh, if we get a shattered shell in the opening hand, we can just then immediately put it up there. This should be fine. We'll put the sweep up there, or honestly, just wild intent at the top does that. This is fantastic. So we get to play you, get to play you, send you up, and then just give you more damage. All good stuff. Um, we do need to find a way to get the shattered shell up top. This is currently not possible. Let's play you guys down here. And you are the only one that needs the protection so far. That's a little bit awkward that our uh, Shadow Shell isn't getting all of the stats. Um, I think we just keep rolling like this for now. I mean, this guy's gonna hit but I feel like it's not the end of the world here. Um, we could bring the Shattered Shell up now if we wanted. Because we are going to want it up top eventually. I'm not 100% convinced we actually need the Rail Beater here. This helps out a lot. Gets us a lot of extra stats on him. Get our root seeds. Okay. Okay, now we gotta get an ascend. We don't have an ascend. Um, what if we were to do this? Oh no, uh, nope, we can't actually do it. Okay, that's fine. So then we just focus on this floor instead. Give you spikes. We gotta get a lot of damage very quickly. Um, 42 is more damage than we can handle right now. Hmm, this might be dangerous. We are gonna get a free hit, but even with the free hit, I'm not 100% certain that it's gonna be enough. We, are, we get two free hits because we're quick and we get a free hit, so that's gonna be at least 400 damage before he gets a chance to attack. Um, a little bit of armor would go a long way here. So a little bit more armor. And I think with the end flame and the razor sharp edge, we just barely managed to get it. Wow. Okay. Uh, we gotta get holdover on the ascend. Oh, it might be preserved thorns. Pyro Girl is also very interesting, but I think it's I think it's the Preserved Thorns and March of Shields. Absolutely, March of Shields allows us to put um, our dude up front, give him armor, let him get all the kills, and then move Wildman into the front at the end. Um, as much as I want spell upgrades, we also have open slots on our units here, and I think we need like health stones. Oh, an extra multi-strike, though. I guess we go lean on one of them. And then... Reroll. Large stone on the other? Maybe large stone on the rail beater. And then increase capacity one at the next upgrade spot. Give you some generic stats. Oh, rage would have also been good. But I think this is okay. I think this is okay. Uh, with March of Shields... And... Uh, fortifies. I'm hopeful that it's... And the end flame. I hope there's enough armor to go around to keep them alive. That's the uh, idea. Uh, okay. We have nothing to merge with this rail beater. 
We have a minus two cost uh, on Inflame. Hold over on that would be really good. Gift of Gratitude's fine. And I'm just hopeful that we have enough sustain. I'm a little bit nervous about that, to be honest. Because uh, we have the one sweep. I guess we march with shields it over and over again, and we heal the others. Maybe that's the way we do it. Um, hmm. I think I accept this trash in order to get both of them up there now. And we're going to put you up front. Daze is fine. Give you rage and damage and accept the trash. Okay, um. You die if we play you there. You don't die if we play you here. But you're gonna get sapped for four, which is all of your damage. Or we just accept the Contrition and put him up top. Or we don't play it yet. I think we just don't play it yet. And we pop, pop, pop. Avoid any of that nonsense. Play you out here. What are you doing? Uh, rally days? Okay, great. Good stuff. Uh, okay. We can vent. I think we just uh, focus growth for the extra. No, no, no. Root seeds, vent. It's fine. And our man is very thick. This is the good news. Garbage, garbage. Uh, continue stacking armor. And Rage Sharp Edge. I mean, he is hitting like a truck. Wow. Yeah. Um, really need to get hold over on the uh, spell there. But I think we might be okay just with this. I mean, this guy's gonna... If we put the Rail Beater up and then we put um, Rail Beater in front... Like, that's probably the, the best course of action. We want him to just take damage for now. Can you survive this hit? You can. Unfortunately, you... Oh, wait, a red sharp edge, then you kill everything. Well, most things. Uh, give you more armor. Okay. An ascend would be great right now. But, you know, it is what it is. I think I'm still going to just focus on this guy. Stacking him up. He's now doing 300 damage quick. That's going to be pretty good for Arcus. We can now Hidden Passage. Look at this. Unleash the Wildwood. Gets him to full health again. Give you more armor. And now it's really just about getting to uh, that March of Shields again. If we get to the March of Shields, we're fine. We might not even need it. Is that possible? Uh, it might be possible here. We're going to at least hit him once. With a, uh, this is gonna be 450. We got him, and we can do this. Holy cow! Look at that. Get blasted, Arcus. Uh, Dark Deal is fantastic in this build. We're gonna go. Um, capacity so that we can play two outright on a floor and then we can ascend a third if they get uh, any opening hand um, we have no more unit upgrade slots let's go right path extra rage is fine ooh umbra stone okay okay and I actually think uh, it might be a second March of Shields. Is that is that actually correct? Maybe it's the second um, Dark Deal or second End Flame. I'm gonna go with the End Flame. 
Oh, Hell's Banners. That's fantastic. We'll take that. Okay, I think we actually have now what I would say is a very solid build. And Predator is fine because we're going to block with um, the... Uh, we're going to block with the Rail Beater. And we might actually end up playing on the middle floor rather than the top floor. And then just try to get hold over on um, Unleash the Wildwood. And then just constantly be healing up uh, Rail Beater to defeat Divinity. Okay, so let's see here. Boss, 400 coins, plus 8 damage. This should be okay. We just got to make sure that we're always clearing backliners before they have a chance to hit us. And Railbeater needs to kind of be in front. But it's fine. We go... We can actually put almost everybody onto the, onto the floors now. Um, do we risk it? Uh... Oh wait, we can just do this. We get extra ember. What am I even smoking? Uh, get you up. And torch it. Okay. Uh, currently our dude is gonna struggle a bit. So let's not play him yet. Um... I mean, we're gonna we're gonna kill everything. Uh, do we just go all in on razor sharps? I think we bring this guy to the front, let him get some of the kills, and just play a razor sharp on you. Okay. Almost killing everything. We'll kill everything on the next uh, turn, I believe. Give you rage, give you armor, dark deal. Um, and look at that. They're just getting big. Uh, who has. You have. Okay. Um, let's pop these guys off. Just to keep us extra safe here. Can you stack? And can you root? And just play you out. Okay. There's our dude. Just gotta get him to the front. Dark deal. Root seeds. Root. Okay. Fair enough. How are we doing? March of shields. Fantastic. Uh, and yeah, we're just gonna smoke this guy. He will not know what hit him. Let's ascend one of these now, and that's good. Just more and more damage. And yeah, as I said, just completely smoking him here. Holy crap. Oh, man. Skip here. And... I think it's skip here, too. So what do we want? We want to uh, unleash the Wildwood and hold over. So we're going to go left path. Remove two train stewards, the last two. And there's the minus one holdover, and the question is, where do we put it? Um, there's something to be said about holding over uh, an in flame, and then duping that. I actually really like that. I think that's how we get potentially a flying kill. Let's make this hidden passage. We actually don't even need to make the hidden passage free. Uh, March of Shields free. Uh, we could double stack the other in flame. Minus one on 
hidden passage, I think. Uh, we just don't really need it, but it's fine. What do we get for relics here? Um, do we heal at all? We literally only heal with uh, focus growth. Oh, and, and unleash the wildwood. Yeah, it's okay. Um, don't want that. Thorn fruit's fine. We take a thorn fruit. And then we dupe the uh, holdover in flame, I think. Yep. Or we could get a third. No, no, no. We, we dupe the holdover in flame. And then we, uh, from here, we'll take an extra shards just for fun. Any other thing would be good. I think just removing now. The torches are really bad. Remove as many torches as we can and get into the last fight. And we should be good. Here we go, sap. I think we overcome that with the rage, and I think we have a potential to actually get a flying kill here. Okay, so... You go up front, you go behind. We can give you trample as well if we want, just to like get that started. And send one of them up. Okay, it's gonna go up to the top. Can you live here? With all the end flames? It's 31 damage. Um, this is even more. This represents 10, 20 armor, 25 armor. So actually you can live here, surprisingly. And do some damage. But we have to basically get... We have to get uh, an ascend right now, or we're in trouble. Okay, we're in trouble. So we're gonna have to play top floor. <laughs> I think. Yeah, sharpen's not gonna be enough. So we're just gonna go all in on this guy. And just unfortunate we did not get uh, the ascend. But it's fine. I mean, we're doing a whole freaking lot of damage here. 350. Just keep increasing. Oh my gosh. I mean, there's still a chance. This guy's doing so much freaking damage. And it's only going to get higher as this continues. Just play these into the nether. And uh, give you more damage. Okay, come back up. There we go. So we can play you, bring you up, stack, 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 send these into the ether, the, into the ether, give you more armor, and Seraph is going to have melee weakness. Um, so we're not going to get a flying kill, but we are going to get the kill. And that's pretty good. Just need March of Shields to bring uh, a Rail Beater to the front. And then just continue stack. Oh my gosh, this guy is so freaking huge. Considering that we lost our other one, like, this is still going really well. Uh, just get you up there as well. <laughs> 526. Um, yeah. Seems okay. Whoops. You are basically just a, uh... Look how much armor he got. Cool. So that was a Seraph kill. A uh, clean kill on Seraph. And uh, now it's just on to Divinity. Ugh. And this should be a flying kill. Uh, as long as we can get both shattered shells on the top floor. Okay, so you go rail beater shattered shell Wildington get up there. 
they can get healing, and then we just armor up the uh, the shattered shells. That's the idea. So you currently cannot get played. So we continue with this. March of shields. I think we just do this for now. Issue could be... Um, well, can you survive? No, it's too much damage. Um, issue could be... Spikes. This could be a problem, but we'll see. Okay, so we can go... In flame. In flame, now you're living. Um, we can even bring up this guy. He doesn't add to any of the damage. And just play the stings into the nether, or do we kill... Th I think we kill as much as we can here. Um, root seeds. Okay. So, gotta get this guy alive first. He's living. Uh, then we try to keep... Um, our wild intent alive. And root. Root. Um, dark deal on you. It's fine. And we just gotta get to our heals. If we get to our heals, we're fine. Okay, there's a heal. And then armor, armor. You're still dying, huh? Well, that's not great. It's gonna be problematic. Okay. When we have all the time in the world, kind of. Start building you up then. If you trample. And sting, sting. Um, we can bring up one of these guys. He'll just die instantly. Give you more damage. And again, big heals. I think we get the big heal now, though. That will help. Uh, okay. So, sting, sting, sting. Extra rage, extra rage. Extra armor. March of shields. More root. And bring up this guy. Oh, crap. That was a huge mistake. Uh-oh. Are we just dead now? Are we just dead now? Um, heal you. Uh, well, we're not dying right away. So I guess that's something. Oh yeah, we just lose. Okay, so we would have lost to Divinity because we played stupid. But, uh... That still would have been a lot better. It still would have been better than we did. It would not have been enough to uh, qualify, though. So, first seed would have qualified. Second seed would not have qualified. But still, would have done a lot better. Uh, and we could have played that differently. If I had not ascended that guy at the end, we would have been in a much better spot. So assuming that we played that smart, uh, we also could have finished Divinity, I think, as well. Um, but yeah, I think just, again, showing that um, minor decisions in the game can make a huge impact on how well you do. Um, one decision in both of these completely derailed both runs. And the builds were solid. The builds were, were quite good. It just was um, taking a little bit too much risk. And if we'd been a little bit more patient, we would have been just fine. So thanks for joining me on my cathartic journey of self-discovery. Um, and uh, we'll be back again. I'll be uh, helping with the tournament today. And uh, we'll be doing another tournament next month. And in the meantime, continue. Uh, I appreciate your continued support of the stream and of the videos. And if you like this, please uh, give it a like, subscribe, and check out the other videos. 
Um, with that, name of the day has been just Nate. You can also call me Nathan. Please never call me Nathaniel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.